Hello everyone, welcome to Time West Bank Kitchen. I'm Mirabel, your host of Time West Bank Kitchen. I'm so excited to have you all. I'm excited. Today is a very good day. I always say it's a good day because we are blessed to see the next day. Okay? So we are going to prepare something special today. It must have in your refrigerator. We cannot do without what we are going to prepare today. We're going to prepare two kinds of sauces. Two kinds of pepper sauce. One for regular use, one for fish or barbecue, or you can use it for any meat or fish. So you need to have this kind of pepper sauce in your fridge. There's no way you can have this in a home without this. I mean, we eat pepper a lot in my house, and I know most homes out there do. So I'm going to show you how to prepare my ultimate pepper sauce. So, you know, snacks like a dip and for fish. Don't go away. And before I start, if you know it's your first time here, go ahead and subscribe because you're not gonna lose anything. You're gonna be gaining. And just hit the bell because each time we upload, you're gonna know Nine Western Kitchen some has something new. If you're just passing by, just consider us because we are a very beautiful family. Join our team. And those who have been there, thank you all so much for being faithful. Keep watching, don't go. So I'm going to show you my ingredients. They are very, very easy. Let me put my camera down so you can see. I'm going to do two kinds of pepper sauce, just like I said. So we're going to do regular pepper sauce. We're going to do pepper sauce for fish and meat. It's very easy. One has traditional spices, one has normal spices. So what we're going to do is that we're going to prepare our pepper. We need pepper for this recipe two medium-sized onion, the cubes, we need maggi cubes, we need tomato base. If you don't know how to do this, I have it on my channel. I'm going to put the link of tomato base. It's very important. We can use tomato base to prepare jollof rice, stew, all kinds of vegetable uh, soups, and different kinds of sauces like what we're going to prepare today. So you need tomato base for this. This has been cooked already. This is traditional spice. We have pepper soup spice in here. We have ngakanga. I will also have bebe. So I've shown these ingredients before in my channel. I'm going to put the link of how I describe this ingredient down there. When I was making pepper soup chicken, you will see these spices there. These are already blended. We have olive oil. You can use vegetable oil if you like. And then I have here paprika. Here I have curry, white pepper. So these are the images I'm going to use to prepare these two beautiful dishes, sauces, don't go. Well, the first thing we're going to do is to be able to boil this. I boil my, my pepper. I don't fry it. I boil it first because guess what? We have children in the house. We have people in the house. We don't want to be making people to cough. So the best way I'll teach you today is a trick. Just boil it, you know? Boil it. Let me get my, my, my pot. So what you want to do I'll fix my camera yes so we are going to boil this pepper all right this is it We're gonna boil all the pepper we need to be able to cook this dish with these two sauces with. I wanna boil all of them. And we're gonna slice this onion. So I just need the onion sliced. I know you said a lot of onion, but I need onion in this dish. I need it to be really, really tasty. So I cannot see myself being at home without pepper. If you know you don't eat pepper, can you comment below down? Let me know why. I mean, I was born in Africa. Part of our culture is to eat pepper. Most of our dishes are so spicy. There's no way we can eat without pepper. So I grew up like that. Although there are some Africans who don't eat pepper. You know, you don't eat pepper, but I do eat pepper. So 
So we are just cutting our onion now. Let me show you. Yeah, like that. So we bought a new camera, so I'm trying to make it sure that we have me in the kitchen cooking like this. I've had many people told me, can you just cook and let's see you? Okay, yeah, sure. I'm gonna make videos like this so that you can see me cooking. I wanna see how I struggle in the kitchen. It's okay. I don't struggle. I love to cook. So, you can see, it's a lot of flavor. I'm not going to put the tomato paste here. I'm just going to boil this too. Because the tomato paste has been cooked. Like I said, I'll put the link. Watch it. We're going to cook this until this, this, this is soft. I don't know. So, I think our pepper is on your I can smell pepper, but it's not that strong like when you're frying the oil, so it's best to boil it. So, let's pick up our stuff. See? Mm, it smells so good. So, we're going to blend this. So I'm going to divide this pepper into two. I didn't make it too soupy, okay? It's not too watery. And now, our base, okay? Tomato base. J'ai longtemps vécu captif dans la prise du péché. J'étais esclave de la débauche. Je ne pouvais plus m'en passer. Car à ma vie, il s'était accroché. So for now, you have to look for the thing. Because you're gonna start putting your ingredients. So the first thing is that I'm gonna choose this one to be the pepper for fish. So I'm gonna put my traditional ingredients in this one. So this one I have bebe, country onion, and pepper soup spice. And I'm gonna put some cubes. That amount of pepper soup is fine. Then salt. Be careful with salt. You don't want to have the stir it. Mm, it smells good. And you know, because it's fish, there's no way I can do fish spice without white pepper. So I'm going to put some white pepper. J'ai cherché la solution de tout côté en bas, mais un jour il m'a été annoncé que Jésus est mort pour mon corps. J'ai été touché par son amour et désormais je suis libre. Pepper is hot. 
scotch egg so I'm gonna put white pepper in this one now this this measurements I, I can't tell you it's gonna how you taste how you want it paprika now this one I'm gonna put curry okay don't put too much curry because it's gonna make your pepper to taste funny cubes salt and garlic and ginger remember we made our garlic and ginger we preserve it in the fridge don't go away let me come see last time we made this we preserved it in the fridge believe me not a joke it helps i will leave that video down for you to watch how i preserve garlic and ginger it's very handy you just pick it and use it so I'm gonna go in there with some ginger. Now all this depends on your taste bowl. Je ne pouvais plus m'en passer car à ma vie j'étais I'm gonna stir this. À chaque fois. And the final thing to add here is Look at this color. Check this pepper sauce. So good. It smells perfect. I want to give it a taste to make sure cubes and salt is perfect. Base and the pepper has to cook, so you need to cook it five minutes. Mais un jour il m'a été annoncé que Jésus pour ma cause. I'm going to expect to so fire that. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together in a very big container. But let me clear up my spots so that I can be able to put them together and then we'll see how they work. You want to try this out. There's nothing to lose here. Okay?
Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Check out our pepper sauce. Mm -mm -mm. It smells so good in my kitchen. Our fish pepper and our regular pepper sauce ready. Check them out. Very clean, ready to be consumed, delicious. Thank you all so much for watching Time West Spain Kitchen. Try it at home. Comment below and let me know. Bye. Bon appétit. Thank you. Stay blessed, everyone. J'ai longtemps vécu captif dans la prise du péché. J'étais esclave de la débauche. Les femmes, l'alcool, les boîtes de nuit étaient mes compagnons de chaque jour. Je ne pouvais plus m'en passer car à ma vie, ils s'étaient accrochés.